welcome back to Grace's room. So at the moment, I have been quite obsessed with TikTok. Anytime I've got spare time, I'm definitely scrolling through the app. And for some reason, I've been getting a lot of makeup hacks suggested for me. And I love makeup hacks. Anything that will help me do my makeup quicker and better, I love. And I always tell myself that I'm going to try these TikTok hacks that I've seen and I always save them, but I never end up doing it. So today I thought that I would finally test out these makeup hacks that I keep on seeing and see if they actually work. I have collected seven different videos that I thought looked very interesting and now I'm going to try them. Okay, so this first hack I have been dying to try because I have seen so many people use it on TikTok and they have had like the best results from it. So let's look at it. If you wear makeup, watch. Change your whole routine and try this instead. Moisturize first. Then after moisturizing, take some translucent powder. I usually use the Fit Me one and I just lightly dab it all over my face, not too much. Then take some setting spray. It could be any setting spray. I usually use the NYX one. After the setting spray, take a primer and just put your primer. Also, wait for the setting spray to dry first. Then, just put on your foundation and just see what happens. Alright, so as you can see from the TikTok, she's obviously talking about how to make the foundation look flawless. So, I'm going to try that now. The first thing that she said to do was take a moisturizer and put it all over your face. Put it on your face. I just have this one from NARS here. It's very nice, it's quite like smooth. Oh, I've put a lot on. There we go. Okay, so I definitely did put a little bit too much um, moisturizer on, but I blended it all out now. So I'm just going to take, there we go. I'm just going to take a powder brush and then she said to use any powder that you want, so I'm just using this Laura Mercier one, and she said not to use too much, so hopefully I don't use too much. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to lightly dab that all over my face. Alright, so it's kind of hard to tell if I'm putting like enough of this um, powder on. Hopefully I haven't put too much or not enough on, but a little bit on so I'm just gonna leave it at that now because I don't want to overdo it and then it doesn't work because I'm really excited to see if this one works or not because like I said I've seen so many people have like really good results when they do it. Alright I think that's enough now. I'm just gonna leave it. Um now I'm gonna take my setting mist. I just have this one from Morphe the continuous setting mist and I'm just going to put that there we go I'm just gonna let it dry she said to make sure that it dries first so I don't want to put it on while it's wet. Okay, I think that's dry now. I've just been going like this for a while. So now I'm going to take my primer. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish one. I've been using this one quite a lot. I really like how it works on my skin. Okay, I'm just going to put that on. Okay, I tried to lightly dab that one on because I didn't want to like rub it around too much and like move all the powder underneath. I'm not sure if that would happen once I put the setting mist on, but anyway. So, now for the final result, I am going to take my foundation and let's see if this actually works. So, I just have this one from Beauty Blender. It's actually really nice. I recently got it and, I've lo and I love how it makes my skin look. So, let's see. Definitely a little bit hard to tell at the moment, so I need to blend it all out and see if anything I could take it's gonna do anything. Alright, so I think I finished blending out my foundation. I also went in with my foundation brush as well just to evenly smooth things out. But looking at this, my foundation actually does look quite smooth. I don't actually don't know if that's just the actual foundation that's just making it look really smooth. But it does look quite nice. I'm not too sure if it actually worked. Have you guys ever tried this one out? Let me know. But I'm gonna give it maybe like a five out of 10. Cause like it, oh, it looks like it's worked, but I'm not sure if it actually has made much of a difference. So. so what if the only piece of makeup that you had was a lipstick? Well, this hack is saying that you can use a lipstick to do a lot of steps in your makeup routine. So we're just gonna see what it looks like. So her makeup 
looks really pretty. She used the lipstick to do her blush, her um, eyeshadow, and she filled in her eyebrows, but I'm not gonna do that for my eyebrows. I just wanna see what it looks like when you do it with the blush and um, on your eyes, because that'd be really interesting to see if it works. Like, I wasn't sure if it would actually like blend or if it's like smudge or something like that. Anyway, so let's try it. I'm gonna put, I have, just have this red one from Becca. Um, I'm just gonna put a little bit, I'm just gonna start with a little bit, because it's a very like red lipstick. She doesn't do too much. Okay, hopefully it's not too much. I'm just gonna blend that out first before I do my um, eyeshadow. I'm just gonna use this brush. I'm not sure if I should use a beauty blender or a brush. Okay. Hmm. I mean, it looks like it's blending. Maybe if I go on with the Beauty Blender, it might smooth things out because it's a cream product. That doesn't look too bad. I don't mind that. It actually looks kind of cute. I mean, like once I blended it out, like with the Beauty Blender, like it kind of made it a lot more subtle and it actually looks really pretty. That actually looks really cute. I mean, it's not too noticeable, but it definitely has like a little bit of like a rosy tint to my cheeks. And I didn't want to go like too overboard because I don't really use blush too much, but that actually looks really pretty. I'm gonna put a bit of my nose as well. Okay, <laughs> I definitely put a little bit too much on my nose so to take a little bit longer to blend it out, but otherwise it looks like really nice on my cheeks. So I'm interested to see if it will also look nice on my eyes. Cause this would actually be really good because I never I don't have a lot of red eyeshadows and any every time I want to do like a red eyeshadow look I always find it really hard so if this makes like it look really nice I'll be very happy. Anyway so I just put some on my eyelids and I'm just gonna take like a little blending brush just to blend it out. Okay so I'm blending it out on my eyes and it definitely looks actually looks really pretty on my eyes. The only thing I'm finding it a little bit difficult to do is just blending out blending it around like the edges to kind of make it look like really smoothly blended that's the only thing i'm having like struggling with but besides that it actually looks really cute like it looks just like i definitely like that it's not as red as when i first put it on once i've blended it out but like it actually looks really pretty i don't mind this one i'd i'd probably give this one like maybe like an eight out of ten just because it was a bit hard to blend it around like the eyes but besides that this one actually looks really pretty so yeah an eight out of ten for me all right, so honestly, I am not that good at eyeliner. I always struggle to do it, and I don't know, I can never create that perfect wing, and I especially cannot get it even on both sides. So this hack basically says that you can use a bobby pin to get the perfect eyeliner. So let's see what she says. she does it actually looks like really pretty but the only thing I'm thinking is that where do you get like that little bump from the eyeliner there or is that like supposed to be a part of it anyway so I just have my liquid eyeliner here and I'm just going to put a little bit on the lolly pin okay I think that looks good now very nervous about this step, but I'm just going to stamp it on. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. It didn't really stamp on that well at all. Oh. Huh. I'm not sure if that was me or the actual, like, thing, but, like, it didn't, like, stamp on that well. I don't know how she got it. Mm, I don't know, I can't even like make a wing out of that, so I'm just gonna really quickly try that again. Okay, so I made sure I put extra eyeliner on it this time. So let's see if it will work. Okay, I'm just gonna stamp it on really hard, and make sure all the ink goes on. And yeah, see same thing. I'm like I'm not getting all the product and like it looks like on the bobby pin, like the Eyeliner's come off it, but like I don't know, it's just not creating like an actual wing. It's gonna see if I can do anything with that. Yeah, no. 
<laughs> that looks so bad. <laughs> oh, I wish that worked. It looks like really cool. Okay, I'm just gonna really quickly finish the eyeliner. Mmm. Yeah, that, <laughs> that's, I'm not sure if it looks as bad in the camera, but up here that just does not look good at all. That just looks like a big chunk. <laughs> it looks really bad. I'm not sure if I should just do it on the other side just to make it look even, but yeah, I'll quickly just do it on the other side. Maybe I might have more luck this time. Probably not, but. Okay, so I put a lot of eyeliner on the bobby pin. I'm just gonna maybe light work this time. I got a bit more of a shape, but it like smudged a little bit. I don't know, am I doing something wrong? Like, I feel like I'm doing everything right, so. I have no idea why it's not really working that well for me. Hmm. Yeah, this this hack did not really work for me. Um, I don't know why, just, it just wouldn't stamp that well onto the bobby pin, so I'm definitely not gonna be using this one. I cannot tell you how many times I've been putting on my mascara and I've done like a really pretty eyeshadow look and I've accidentally gotten some on the eyeshadow and then I end up ruin ruining the eyeshadow trying to wipe it off. Like that's happened so many times to me and this hack is supposed to help you remove the mascara without disturbing any of your other makeup. So, let's see. Girls, have you ever done your mascara and you get it there or there? I'm gonna show you how to fix it. Okay, so I know it's really hard to leave it there but just leave it there, let it dry. So use a clean spoolie or the end of your eyebrow pencil and just scrape it off. See that? Just scrape it right off. Like that worked really well for her. It looks like it just came off so easily. So I wanna see if that actually would work. So I've just got my roller lash mascara here. I'm just gonna put that on my eyelashes and whoops just got some <laughs> up there and whoops I just got some there as well <laughs> all right I'm just gonna do that eye but anyway so I put my mascara on I have smudged it so I'm just gonna quickly let it dry because she said you have to let it completely dry first all right, so I've let it dry for a few minutes now, and hopefully it's dry. I'm not 100% sure if it is, but it should be. But now I'm going to take the back of an eyebrow pencil, and I'm just going to scrape it across. Mm, it's not really moving. Oh, it has completely wiped away the makeup underneath it. Going like really lightly, it's like smudging it. Hmm. That's like a big black mark there. Hmm. Yeah. Really worked out well there. Let's try it up here. I mean, it got rid of it up here, but it's removed the makeup that was there underneath it, and just here, like on my brow, it like didn't <laughs> work. So I don't know, maybe it might have had something to do with the type of mascara I use, but it should work with like all mascaras, but I don't know, it didn't really work for me and it's just completely wiped off my makeup like that I had there and stuff. So this one didn't work for me. <laughs> so this hack is a little DIY on how to make your own liquid highlighter. I'm pretty sure you can also use this one like on your body as well, but I want some highlighter on my cheekbones here. So let's see. So that looks really pretty. It looks like very like glowy on like this the skin. So hopefully that's what will also happen with us. So I just have a little highlighter here. I've actually cracked it before. That's why there's a hole in it. Um, but I have my highlighter here. I'm just going to scrape some in the pan. Okay, there we go. Oh, I forgot, <laughs> I forgot about the moisturizer. I'm just gonna quickly put a bit of moisturizer on my hand as well. Just do a little bit and I'm just gonna scoop some highlighter. 
on here. I can always add more if I don't need to, but let's mix that together. I have hope for this one. I have a feeling it will work. Okay, so mixing that together. And it definitely looks quite shiny. Probably not as like metallic as I was expecting it to be. It honestly kind of just looks a little bit like, oh, actually it's glowing in the camera. But it looks a little bit like not, not as shiny. But let's just see. I'm not gonna judge it now. I wanna see what it looks like on my skin. Okay. I think that's enough highlighter in there. I'm just going to take some and pat it here. All right, let's just blend that in. Ooh, it definitely looks shiny. I'm not sure, can you guys see that? It definitely looks glowy. I'm gonna put a little bit on my nose as well. Hmm, that actually looks really nice. It's definitely showing up like, like the shine and it looks really pretty. Okay. So, I think I don't want to go too overboard with it. Let me just blend that in with it. Alright. What do you guys think? I think that looks really pretty. <laughs> my hands are so messy now. But it looks like really glowy on my um, face and stuff. I look very <laughs> glowy. I've probably said glowy like 15 times now. But I had a feeling this one would work anyway. And it definitely didn't disappoint. I think it looks really pretty. Definitely be using this one in the future. So, I give this one a big thumbs up. So this next makeup pack is supposed to help you add fake freckles to your face and I don't really wear freckles a lot but it'd be really cool to know that there's a much easier way to apply freckles to your face and to also make them look really realistic. So let's see what she does. A lot of you are wondering what is this little sponge that I use to do my freckles I'm going to show you right now. It's an instant brush cleaner you guys. Look at this. Oh my. It looks like this but you know what's even cheap? Kitchen sponges from Walmart. Super super cheap. Way cheaper than... Okay, so her freckles look really nice and I'm hoping mine turn out like that too. I really want this one to work because it'd be really cool if it did. But I have one of these like makeup brush cleaner things. I just cut a little wedge off it. And so I'm just going to dip the sponge into... Just I've got my Jane Sharp out here. <laughs> it's so big. Just going to dip into this shade here. Hopefully it's the right shade. And let's put it on my face. Wow, they actually look really cool. Like they don't look like too big or anything like that. Can you see? <laughs> okay, let's try some more. Ooh, wow, they're very like tiny. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. So like, I mean like in some spots it looks like a lot darker than other areas. So I'm thinking maybe if I take a beauty blender, I might can like really quickly just like make it look a lot more subtle. Okay, so this is a bit hard to blend out. I mean like they look like really cute and like if you want that like look of like really tiny like micro freckles, then this hack would definitely work. But for me, I'm not sure if they're maybe a little bit too like small and bunched up. I kind of like a little bit like if I, I mean, like I said, I don't really wear freckles, but if I wanted to wear that, probably like a bit of like a mix of like some bigger and small ones. But whereas these are all very small. But besides that, like I said, if you like smaller ones, then this hack would definitely work. All right, so this last makeup hack is actually not for your face, but it's supposed to help you clean your eyeshadow palettes. So here I have my James Charles palette. As you can see, it's probably a little bit dirty around like all the pans and stuff. I've tried to clean it before with um, like just trying to get around all the little pans and stuff like that, but it was very hard. So hopefully this will be a lot easier. Okay, let's have a look. All right, so that looks really cool and it looks like really easy to do. So I know she used baby wipes, but I'm just going to use some normal makeup wipes. I'm sure they'll use the same, I mean, the, what they'll work the same, but I'm just going to use this Huda Beauty um, setting powder just because I like how it has like a nice flat surface. So there we go. I'm just going to wrap it around like this. Okay. 
Now, let's hope this works. So, I'm just gonna get my palette. Oh, how am I gonna hold this? Actually worked really well like I, I was hoping like it wouldn't like touch any of the shadows but that actually worked really well oh. I'm just clicking a little bit up here as well but wow that worked really well that like got everything off like really easily look how clean it looks now okay you probably gotta let like all like the the wetness from the wipe dry now but that worked really well my palette looks very clean and that was really easy to do and I like that it didn't touch any of the shadows and stuff so that gets a very big thumbs up from me so if any of you guys were wondering this is what the makeup wipe actually looks like afterwards so as you can see there is a lot of eyeshadow on there so that hack definitely worked very well so that's all the makeup hacks that I have to show you guys today I especially liked the lipstick one I think that looked really pretty on my cheeks and on my eyes I'll definitely be using that in future I also really like the highlighter one too I thought it made my skin look very glowy and maybe like in the summertime next year I can like put it on my shoulders and stuff like that as well but anyway and especially that last one worked really well too so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time on Grace's Room bye for now